Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Beardy Comic Guy and Making Review back again for another episode of our collector show. What is going on, my friend? What's up, buddy? It's a good night. It's a yeah, good it's night. Good. It's, uh, I'm uh, rather enjoying being a DC fan at the moment. Hell yeah. This is so good. So happy. I'm, I'm two hours in. Uh, Pause it to come make this video so we can get it to you as soon as we can. Uh, but I'm anxious to get back watching it. We may have to do like a little review for it. That'd be kind of cool, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe maybe we'll do a little midweek, little uh, pick me up. Yeah, I'm I'm down. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. But before we get into the show, um, I want to say thank you to our sponsor, Tater as LC. We appreciate you guys sponsoring the Department of Comics YouTube. Uh, we thank you, and again, thank you to the staff and admin mods all that over at department comics uh make sure you go follow subscribe to the channel like the video go follow facebook instagram get the link to the discord it's active as crazy stuff's getting posted all the time you don't want to miss out so make sure you get your butt over there yeah all right so we're gonna get into collecting big freaking week it seems it's every awesome. week is just topping the last one yeah um so we got a lot of stuff to go over um and we're recording on thursday night so tomorrow friday uh march 19th is hasbro's fan fest so we don't even get to cover any of that right now um i I might try and do a short show tomorrow night for a quick release to just go over what we did uh my compadre over here has to work. I gotta work. I got responsibilities. Yeah. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So I'll try and do a solo show, get you some info. Uh, but we'll see what happens. See if anything's actually worth the show. Uh, I expect that it will be, though. Uh, Hopefully. It better be. <laughs> I mean, my wallet says don't, but my heart right. says give me everything. Um, yeah, absolutely, at one hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, okay. So let's start. We'll start with um, more of the least of our worries, but still fun stuff. Yeah. Funko has put out some some good uh, reveals in the past week. Um, so I'll kick it off with the re- reveal today. We got the Marvel Mecha Strike or Mech Strike. I keep saying Mecha. Um, So there's a cool line. We got an uh, Iron Man, Thor, Black Panther, Hulk, and Spider-Man or Captain Marvel? Uh, Captain Marvel. We got, yeah, yeah, Cap, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, uh, Doctor Strange, Hulk, and Thor. Yeah. Three exclusives. Yeah. And uh, I actually did. These came out last month. uh, So I figured I'd show you guys where these concepts came from. So this is the comic line Avengers Mech Strike. So we got the Hulk cover there. We got a little Captain America here. So super cool, super exciting. Uh, there is one more I wanted to show. Oh, here it is. So here's uh, kind of everyone lined up. So definitely look cool. Super pumped. The pops look pretty oh, decent. Man. Yeah, they definitely look pretty faithful to the comic too. So yeah you know and what's crazy too is uh i don't know too much uh what how funko's putting stuff out recently i haven't cared too much but this series came out in february uh so they're turning this around month and a half and making pops so so i i love comic lines more than uh when they try to do their own thing and whatnot so this is cool that they're doing that i hope they do more like it how are the how are the books uh, I actually haven't picked them. I haven't read because there are only two issues in. Uh, okay. There's, I believe, going to be five. So I'm just going to wait to the end. But now I'm going to read just so we can come back next week and be like, oh, oh yeah. I, I mean, I'm I'm curious to see what uh, they do with these. If they make any more or do some 10 inch ones, because I think that would be better suited uh, yeah. for this. But uh, yeah, we've got the the three exclusives too. They all go in the dark: the Cap, Hulk, and Black Panther. That are exclusive to FYE, the Funko Shop, and Target, respectively. Right. Um, 
I pre-ordered the FYE Cap one just because Cap's my guy. Which ones are you getting? Well, I'm definitely going to get Hulk and uh, the Golden Dark Hulk. Um, we'll see if I grab any other ones. Um, if they 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 do Spider-Man, because Spider-Man does have a mech in this series, I'll definitely get a Spider-Man one. Um, but uh, we'll see what they do. Because, I mean, if they start breaking out and there's a Venom one, I'll get that. But uh, I'll probably keep it at that. Yeah. we do, You know how we do with Uncles these days, so... Yeah. Um, but yeah, those look fantastic. Um, and then kind of more Disney <laughs> related stuff. We're getting a uh a new bounty hunter line that's gonna be exclusive to GameStop. Uh they're doing seven pops and they're gonna all uh have bases that connect, like the uh the Avengers assemble thing that we got last year, but this is gonna be recreating the Empire Strikes Back scene, and um, I'm kind of curious on what the seventh pop is going to be because in the in the scene there's six bounty hunters, but there's seven pops. So I'm wondering if it's going to be Vader up there, given the order and stuff like that, which would be awesome. Yeah, very cool. Heck yeah. Um, then the next one, <laughs> Seinfeld fans. Whoo wee, <laughs> man. So. I didn't even, I don't remember the exact count, but there's more than 10 pops. Then they did the big Kramer. I, I don't even know oh, what yeah. that was. It's like a poster thing. Yeah. And then they're trying a new Funko line called Mini Moments. And they're, we've seen them with the comic moments and some movie moments, uh, but they've shrunk them down. And there's also chases of them. So, yeah. And it's cool, like they've been doing a lot of these connecting things too. And this is this mini line is gonna connect the entire like set apartment yeah. set. So right. if you collect all the minis, you're gonna have the whole apartment. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, I hope they keep with this. What might be something you might want to see if they keep with the minis, the mini moments? Um, I would like a uh, a hall of armor for Iron Man. Yeah, that'd yeah. be that'd be I, amazing. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think a bat cave would be pretty sweet too. Yeah, I, I figured you can go that. I didn't want to take yeah. that from you. Bat cave or like a maybe like a Millennium Falcon type thing. Yeah, no, I I mean definitely endless for it. I what would be super cool? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some freaking Megazords, dude. That'd be cool. And but I was thinking the uh, command center. That's it. Yeah. Man, I really um, hope they don't do any of these because I'm not gonna get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, more yeah. So they went super ham on the Seinfeld line. It kind of reminds me of uh, was it last year when they introduced the office and they just went crazy with it. So. I don't know how I feel about it. I I don't know if I think it's a little greedy or um, just get it all the way at one time. But they're definitely giving fans uh, what they've been asking for. So yeah, um, that's awesome for you guys. Congratulations! <laughs> I am luckily safe. For this yeah. one. <laughs> one thing I'm not safe from though, um, they had um, another GameStop box pop up for uh, Knights of the Old Republic. It's a gaming greats uh, box from Funko and it's got uh, Revan, a, a light side Revan and then another character from the game plus a bunch of pins and stickers and lanyards and stuff. Uh, you know I had to get it because KOTOR is my jam. Yeah. So Very cool. Yeah, I, I actually pre-ordered that one too. Nice. Yeah, that was, that was a cool one. Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've already pre-ordered as well. Um, and then we got a couple, uh, 10 inch pops coming in from Walmart. It's going to be, uh, the, uh, Raptor from Jurassic World Blue. Uh, not sure why we need this, but, uh, we're getting it. And then something we do need is a 10 inch Optimus Prime. Yeah. Which, uh, sounds like we're both interested in. Yeah. I mean, that definitely looks cool. I have. I've really tiptoed with getting these transformers. Um, they they actually look really good. I, I like them, and I like them from a distance. 
but I, I mean, tennis optimist, you can't say no. Just, just like when they did the Galactus, you know, it's pretty much half of what I asked for with, you know, when they started that Fantastic Four line and they give you a 10 inch thing, you know, but they don't give you a Galactus, but then they came out with this, I got to do it. You know, I asked yeah. for it, but you know, this one, it's another one that you just got to do. Yeah, definitely. It, it just fits so perfect. And that's definitely uh, something I was hoping they would do. So I'm glad it's not, uh, I'm glad it's not 18 inch because I don't feel like spending a hundred dollars on it, but right. it's still cool to have something larger scale than a six inch or a three and three quarter inch pop. So you know, I mean, and I don't, I don't want to sidebar too, too much, but I know there was a point where we had uh, had a discussion about how 10 inch were, it was oversaturated. I still think it is. Yeah. Um, you know, perfect example is blue because what they did, they hit, you know, the nail on the head with giving us a 10 inch T-Rex from that line. Right. You right. know, why would we need a 10 inch blue? You know, it's, especially for guys that are actually collecting Jurassic Park. I mean, it's cool to have a 10 inch one, but when you put it up next to on your shelf, it's going to look dumb. I agree. You know, it, I mean, it's a cool thing to have a 10 inch Raptor. Awesome. But necessary? Yeah, no, not definitely not. So, I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, like, I don't know why we needed this. We don't, but we're getting it. So it is what it is. And again, congratulations to the fans. Uh, you're getting a cool pop, but uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. So we got FanFest coming up. We talked about it a little bit earlier. With FanFest for Hasbro, they had... They had teased a little bit. We got a we got a Fortnite Snake Eyes deluxe figure three weeks ago, would you say? A month ago? Uh it was almost a month ago. Yeah. So that got everyone's ears perked up of why is Hasbro releasing a Fortnite figure? Fortnite was McFarlane and uh, Jazzwares, I think. Jazzwares, yeah. And I mean, they're still coming out with figures, and I don't know yeah. if they're coming, if there are, because they're bigger. So, you know, it's kind of like how Marvel Select puts out a seven inch figure and Hasbro puts out a six inch figure. Yeah. If they're going to be doing that. But it looks like, I mean, who was it McFarland that was putting out those really good articulated. Yeah, it was McFarlane, so maybe they lost the six-inch line. Well, I don't know too. Like, they too. might, they might be doing uh, all the figures that they have licenses to. Also, like we could just Possibly. be getting uh, like Marvel skins and stuff but from. At the Fortnite. same time, the teaser that they put out was the dude that just came into the the season. Oh yeah, that's true. So I'm curious. I and like I I haven't seen because I got a couple of those early McFarlane Fortnite figures um, because they were really good figures. Um, yeah. And my my friend's son was really into them, so I got a bunch of them, got them for him, and we opened them up, play with them, and they were freaking awesome. But I haven't seen those in a while. It's just uh, the what what Jabra what Jazzwear Jazzwear. That's the thing. Yeah, they're they're doing the uh the Halo figures right now too. So yeah, yeah. So I I know though they're still pumping those out, and I just saw another release today of like a golden one. Um, Halo so, figure? No, no, Fortnite. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So I'm curious um, what they're gonna do. Yeah, I'm I'm too. Like it could be awesome. Um, because you know Hasbro's got it like that. I did pre-order the uh. The Snake Eyes one, nice. um, and it was like day and day too. Like he dropped, uh, the skin dropped, and then later that day the figure dropped for pre-order. So, hmm. now what I'm curious about is uh, recently or this last season, you had Alien, Predator, Terminator, uh, hmm. you know, but all those licenses are are with NECA. 
That's true. So do we see those figures? Obviously, we can put money that we're going to see the Marvel guys that have come in, the Star Wars guys that have come in. We might um, just because of different scale, maybe. Possibly. Like the NECA figures were seven inch and these yeah, I mean, six, so. definitely. Uh, wait, who's doing the, who's doing those uh, Alien and Fortnite, or Alien and Fortnite, Alien and Predator figures that are, uh, they're not the NECA ones. Um, freak, I don't even know how to swim. They're they're in the toy aisles. I don't know. Oh, man, I can't. I I don't even know what to Google to find. I out. I think I've seen. I have seen. Yeah, I've seen those at like Walmart and stuff like that. I know what you're talking about now. Uh, right. And they're like super basic. Yeah. yeah. So I I'm wonder. Sure. If, I wonder if those, if they have that. Whoever that is has the uh, six inch license. Maybe. I'm Not curious. sure, but we'll see. yeah, definitely. We we'll, we may be illuminated uh, tomorrow. So. Yeah. Uh, more things. I'm sure we'll be able to. Speaking of more things, tomorrow we're getting <laughs> uh, a full wave of uh, comic. Legends, Star Wars Black Series figures. Um, like I said, these are all from Legends uh, comics. And they look fantastic. Um, we're getting a Darth Maul, Connor Jax, Luke Skywalker, and Jackson. Um, Darth, I, yeah, we were talking about a little bit before the show. And Darth Maul and Connor Jax are a must these the packaging looks great too they kind of like open up they kind of did this before too with the uh with the comic luke uh that was like a deluxe figure um and that darth maul that's definitely the best one and i think they're getting it they gotta put out malls like they (laughs) every time it does man people blow up you know but that the whole wave does look good and they are uh Stepping outside of the box, um, I know they. I was going to say they did do that deluxe Luke that was in GameStops, yeah. um, you know. But these look fantastic, and I cannot wait to see where it goes. You yeah. know, now that we're comics, the Star Wars comics are really like have taken root and you know making its own path now. Dude, the freaking stuff that's going to come out that's going to be crazy. Yeah, and with them too, like doing Legends figures, I'm really hoping we get some Force Unleashed yeah. uh, figures. That'd be fantastic as well. Thank you. Um, but these are supposed to go up for uh, pre-order tomorrow at around 1 p.m. Eastern time. So yep. uh, that's Friday the 19th. 19th. Whew. All right, so we're ha- halfway through. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we were talking turtles. Got another animated turtle reveal with the uh I'm gonna loosely say army building because yeah. this is an expensive hard, army builder. Yeah, I was gonna say it's hard it's hard to do uh an army build with thirty dollar figure, so and NECA's freaking distribution right now. Oh yeah. So I'm hoping I at least find one, but it's a foot soldier. Um, it's coming with multiple heads, hands, guns, you know, all the jazz, but it's one, one figure. See me personally, I wish they, they did a two pack of foot soldiers. I wish they would have just mass produced those and just flooded them out. I would have rather just basic foot soldiers paid $50 for a two pack and called it a day. Um, definitely. And then put those things up on your site because that seemed to work really well. You give them a timeline. Hey, the pre-order is going to be open from this day to this day. Pre-order them and, and you'll get your stuff. Uh, uh, speaking on that, because I am irritated. Um, so they did do those pre-orders uh, for select different things that have come out. Super Soldier, uh, the all uh, the movie guys. Token um, Razor? Yeah. Um, then a couple two packs of uh the turtles, foot soldiers, yada yada. They've done a lot and they open them up for a week. You pre order, it closes, and that's it. Um, I've hit it for four, 
for the releases, great. But the I'm still waiting for my slasher and leatherhead, and I've been waiting six months, and it's delayed again. And um, why? Yeah, that's annoying. I mean, I'm sure too. The like, at least you're getting them. <laughs> I mean, I'm I mean, not yeah. saying you're. I'm not <laughs> saying I'm not saying you're like being ridiculous because that is ridiculous. But uh, I'm just happy that you at least got them because these things, right now, with any kind of figure, it's so hard to find anything in store. So yeah, I mean, and that's that's exactly it. And I, I did want to say like my issues are not the worst issues to have. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to, you know, but it, I mean, it is because my Walmarts and Targets are bare. I, I I saw a Moff Gideon today, and that's the first Black Series other than Jar Jar that I've seen on a shelf in weeks. Woo! There he is. Yeah. But Legends, I, I'm seeing a couple Frogmans. It looks like that's the peg warmer in that. And rightly no. so, because that was a horrible Absolutely. release. Um, yeah. I did I get them. Why but... did they even put that in there? They could have done another Spider Verse figure or something. Why did they? they should have gave us Penny. Oh man, why something. Did they... Why did they give us the freaking Mac, man? What do you think? Like, do you think that would have been a better build a figure too? A hundred percent. You know, I'm hoping that they give us a deluxe of it, and I'll, I'll pay thirty dollars to get it to complete yeah. that that team. I mean, because we also didn't get a Spider Noir, but I grabbed the Spider Noir from the Lizard Wave. Uh, I just need to get a top hat for him. Yeah. Um, or Fedora. Uh, probably print one. <laughs> you might but, be able to. I was gonna say the uh, the Cad Bane hat might work too. Ooh. That's a yeah. Like. yeah. It's a little round. Very some sanding. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I, I, I want to finish that that wave, man. It's just incomplete, definitely. and I hate it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so we got to get in our obligatory McFarlane stuff too. Uh, um, we it seems like every day we get new announcements for figures, but um, I keep up with them. Right. Uh, we found out that we're getting a. Uh, Batman Beyond Shriek figure. It's going to be another part of that uh, build a figure wave. I think this was the last one that we didn't know about. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's gone up for pre-order at Target. And this is to build the Joker mech. Okay. What's with all these mechs right now? I don't know, but I'm for it. <laughs> for this uh, one, yeah. I'm definitely yeah. for it. Um, And then, too, we got glams for the uh, Justice League figures we were talking about last week. And I think we need to do a little bit of retraction. We're kind of shitting on them last week. Yeah. But uh, this, you know, these glams, they look really good. I have to say they I don't know what happened from the uh, samples that they got that they were taking pictures from to the ones that they're like showing the public and announcing with. Um. But yeah, the the Superman head sculpts are way better. We still haven't seen the um, unmasked Batman. That could still be a train wreck. But um, so far, they look a lot better. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, everything's looking better. Um, you know, I'm still a little on the on the unarmored dark side, but he still looks good. Yeah, you know, he still looks like a good figure. But they definitely are are all looking fantastic way better than mattel um so kudos can't i see man you're talking me into it because before the show i said nah i'm good but now i'm like oh, i need them <laughs> <laughs> hey. third. uh so and then we did find out where a couple of the exclusives in this wave are going um target is getting the uh, red and blue Superman and Walmart is getting the helmeted uh, cyborg. So uh, those are already up for pre-order. So make sure you go get on that if you want them. Yeah. Yeah. They, McFarlane, way to freaking go. Um, and to be clear, so right now we're waiting for the all father wave with Robin King and guitar Batman. Yeah. Joker bot, Joker mech, whatever. Then we're getting Justice League. And then single releases is we're waiting for the gold Red Death Grod. Uh, yeah, Grod. And the uh, 
then these ones are from Injustice and the Flash yeah. from Injustice. Right. Yeah, the Flash. So we still got a lot of stuff that's going to be hitting stores. People are finding. Oh, the uh, Joker Nightwing and the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who is the second one that has been showing up? Mm. Can't remember. But uh yeah, some 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 newer McFarlands. I is that a build a figure wave or this solo releases? I think they're solo releases, but I'm not hundred percent sure. So yeah, so they're they're showing up as well as another wave um that kind of I forgot about. So um yeah. what at this point with McFarlane, what do you want? Uh, I want some more Flash stuff. Uh, give me like comic Wally, um, like old and new. Um, Captain Cold, Hal, yeah, Captain Cold, yeah. Some of those villains would be great. Um, a big deluxe uh, Gorilla Grodd would be cool. I know we're getting the one from Injustice, but I want like a comic one. Yeah, and then uh, some Hush Batman stuff would be cool, also. Yeah, like actually look like um, Jim Lee art instead of whatever that one thousand figure was. You know, and that would be super super cool because McFarlane and Jim Lee probably have a lot of connection together, so I'm sure Absolutely. Jim Lee would have some huge input in those figures. Yeah, that'd be that'd be, that'd be awesome, and it would be cool if they did like a Jim Lee series. Oh, man, oh man, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, look it up. Um, I know I want I want a Red Robin. I want yeah. um, I want a couple more Bat Family pieces. Um, Oracle would be cool. Signal would be cool. Um. A good Alfred actually would be really nice yeah. to put in there. Um, I love the I love everything Bat Family. So filling out the pieces, a nice uh, Bat Woman with the luscious red hair. Yeah, please. Yeah, uh, I mean you can continue doing like these lines that you've already started too, like Justice League uh, Unlimited and um, the CW shows and stuff like that. Yeah, he hasn't even hit on a lot of the CW. Just a Green Arrow, huh? Yeah. Like, give me the, like, give me the Flash, dude. I mean, are you? Do you want? Do you really want those? Since like it's you got a lot of them through DC Collectibles and Mattel. Do you want yes. the same figures? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I didn't. I should have gotten the DC uh, Collectibles one, like the yeah. two pack that had Arrow and uh, the Flash in it, but I didn't. Right. So, um, yeah. Give me some McFarlane stuff. I mean, it would be cool if they did some of the Gotham ones. Uh, I would get those ones. No one's. I don't think anyone's even touched that show. Uh, just Funko. Yeah. And I, I didn't touch any of those ones. I mean, it's it's kind of hard for Gotham because no one's like suited up and like. Yeah. You know, it's they're more all... like the, it's more of those Dick Wolf like crime stuff with right and being in Gotham. So right. Yeah, so I guess it'd be a little bit hard, but I I don't want anything CW. It's kind of if they do anything, go Titans and start pumping out some of this Titan stuff. I, I'm yeah. okay with that. Um, I'm surprised they haven't even started that. Now that I think about it, yeah. They, I mean, they could have put out some cool stuff with Dove and Hawk and all that, but well, whatever. This is more money for me to spend. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> like, I gotta stop speaking this shit that it existed. Stop talking. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> He's listening. <laughs> but um you got anything else, brother? I don't. That seems to be what we got for now. Uh like you said, we got the uh DC or the uh, Hasbro fan event tomorrow, so that'll be awesome. And I'm hoping we get uh announcements from all things Hasbro, so yeah. Yeah, so everything that should be covered, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Marvel, Power Rangers, Fortnite, Ghostbusters. Man, I didn't even think about that. Give me a proton pack. 
give me a whole proton pack. I'll be fine. Is there anything else that Hasbro got that I'm missing? I'm sure there is, but I mean, uh, that's a good indication of what we're going to get because that's usually the, the big hitters. So, yeah. So we'll, we'll see what they put out. We haven't got a lot of news from Hasbro recently. Little tidbits. They're just keeping us keeping us going. Um, we almost forgot one thing. What'd you get this week? Oh man. So I like trying not to do too many Funkos lately, but I did get this. Had to do it. It's this uh, Lincoln Park uh, Funko Pop album for Hybrid Theory. I got two of them just so I could take the pop out, and it uh, it took a little bit to get them out. There's a big screw in the back that holds them into the box, but uh, and then I had to pry the bottom bottom off. But I got them out, and the pop is great. Yeah. Um, I love the idea of these pop albums. Um, not too many have moved the needle for me, but this one did. So happy to have it. Heck yeah, that's I. They like said I need that one. I need the My Chemical Romance one. Be also, cool. welcome to the Black Parade is. One of my top songs, but absolutely. All right, what'd you get? I'm excited about this, and I've been excited. <laughs> and then it just randomly shipped, and it got here in two days. All right, and I'm gonna get a second one, but it is the X Men Transformers collab that they did for the Expanse. Um, and then it comes. I'm gonna try and get close. It comes with the Wolverine and mm. Sabretooth. Uh, nice. So definitely cool. I'm looking forward to opening her up, posing her up. Man, this is a you cool should do like one. a little time lapse too of like switching from robot to blackbird. Heck yeah. The uh, the figures are a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. I don't know if you can really see them in there. Yeah, the, I mean, they're good size, though, for that thing. I mean, I think... 100%. They are. I thought they were going to be a tiny bit bigger, but whatever. I didn't buy them for the figures. So, very cool. Um, get a second one so I can keep her in box, because I, I like the nostalgic-looking box. You know, it yeah. makes it very 90s. Um, got a lot of random stuff, but uh, oh, I did... I actually do want to show I got the... Uh, Thanos, the King Thanos. I I did it, man. He just looked too good, and he said, "Buy me." And so I did. <laughs> Does he have a? Did he come with a snapping in? He did. Yeah. Um, you can actually go check it out on my TikTok. I might have posted oh. something, but yes, nice little. That's cool. Yeah, but I uh, did post a video on TikTok showing the uh, kind of different heads and hands. Got him choking out friendly neighborhood creature. Okay. So, um, it's a cool figure. I'm going to get Cosmic Ghost Rider now. <laughs> God. Yeah. That's God. So, so aggravating because I passed on it so much. I said, I'm, I don't need it. I don't need it. And then this comes out and I said, I don't need it. And then I got this. I'm like, okay, now I need Cosmic Ghost Rider. <laughs> and then I go on Amazon to go buy it, and it's freaking eighty dollars on Amazon. It's like, why? Why? Well, Walgreens is exclusive, isn't it? Uh, no, it was it was general release. Okay. The Cosmic Ghost okay. Rider, but I'm hoping that they it would be awesome if they did the Hulk from there because in the storyline, Thanos had Hulk as a pet, and he Jesus. had like long hair, and he was crawling around. It'd be freaking cool. Sounds about right. <laughs> you freaking bastard. <laughs> Do that to my man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, with that, like you said in the beginning, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the show. Go follow this man on Instagram. He's putting out content like a madman and is freaking amazing. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Go follow the Facebook, Instagram like this video, comment, tell us all, all the info we put out. What are you enjoying? You know, in the show, what do you want to see? Are we are we not covering something that you know you would love to hear about? My Little Pony, freaking Legos. <laughs> it's something that we definitely need to step up on because there has been yeah. some cool releases um, that it just keeps falling by the wayside. We got a lot of stuff to cover. Try not to keep you here for an hour. I'm keeping you here for an hour with this goodbye. So I'm going to sign <laughs> off. Thank you, Department of Comics, for letting us do this show. 
and just keep on collecting. Later.